or in the last two and a half years, let me tell you something. Since this news came out Friday, if I go to the grocery store, if I go to a restaurant, if I go to a comedy club, 95% of people that recognize me, and that's like half the people shake my hand. But every four or five minutes if I'm in public around a crowd, somebody starts trying to physically attack me. I mean, they are crazy people. Their whole identity is in that they are the chosen ones and that they are the intellectuals because they're all unemployed or school teachers or professors who dress up as anti-food during the weekends. And they listen to NPR and believe, even though statistically they have lower IQs and are paid less, that they are the anointed ones. And it's just not going the way it was planned. So it's crazy. And I want to open the phones up today to get your take on this. But as I told you over and over again, they used the Russiagate phony investigation, the Inquisition, the witch hunt, the real Red Scare, to not just cover up the illegal spying on Trump during the campaign and once he was president-elect, but to cover up the criminal activity of the Clintons and others with the Russians, was who would think people investigating Russia would be actually in bed with Russia. And then it was used as a dragnet to try to find dirt on Trump and his associates. But Trump is so clean compared to other, quote, politicians and people that despite the fact they busted a few of his lawyers who had their own scams going on the side, in two-plus years, they haven't been able to find anybody other than Michael Cohen who will make up stuff. And so, yes, Mueller in its third phase, special counsel was meant to find the dirt to hand off to Congress and to hand off to U.S. attorneys, and there will be more investigations, but they're going nowhere. And it's what happens when the tyranny of an entrenched bureaucracy and political classes who had all their power handed to them runs into a sharp, aggressive, intelligent person like Trump. And then Trump's able to rally the people to take action. And the left thought intimidation and all the rest of us would make us go away. It only made us entrench. That said, though, just from what I've seen on the street, they are foaming at the mouth to stage Jesse Smollett stuff. I was in a restaurant, had people come in and threaten me three times. When I left the restaurant, they were waiting outside. Then when I got in their face, they go, we're victims, we're victims, we're victims. And the leftist media grabbed it and posted it at the top. But it's like Jesse Smollett. We've got the raw footage. It isn't going to work. Russia on a scale of 1 to 10 for infiltrating the U.S. politically is about a 1. The Chinese are about a 20. You're like, I thought it was a scale of 1 to 10. Uh, yeah. If the Russians were doing that, I'd be all over them. They're not. What they are doing is injecting a bunch of troops into Venezuela, which is our hemisphere, and it's dangerous, and it's wrong. Militarily, Russia's militarily a threat in about a 10. <laughs> but see, we're not worried about that. We're worried about just dominating politically. But now the uh, Attorney General, Bob Barr, has sent over the report, and he's sending it over to Congress, uh, reportedly about Amara, but he sent over a summary saying no Russia collusion. And the Democrats just don't know what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, there never was any collusion. We know that. The Democrats tried to steal the election. They failed. They tried to discredit the election. And because they're globalists and are anti-American, that's the point that made them lose the election. So they went, wait, how do we globalists that want to get rid of the country and say America was never great, it'll never be great? And that's what all these new members of Congress have said. America sucks. It's horrible. It's terrible. It's embarrassing. Capitalism is... is irredeemable, how do they then make it look like they're good guys? Oh, uh, Trump's a Russian. He wants to hurt America. No one buys that. And now, the big dragnet they had to illegally spy on everything Trump's done for years that they claim was a Russia investigation is over. And they're farming out to different U.S. attorneys Pieces of dirt they think they found in the next round to try to come after Trump and impeach him. But the defeat 
of this whole thing and the fact they could not find one person that actually colluded in the Trump camp shows how outsider Trump was. Trump was not a political insider. Trump was a maverick. Trump did things his own way. Trump took his own counsel. All the other parties and political systems are councils that sit around and war game ideas and send it to insurance companies and send it to think tanks and then come up with consensuses of lying in their own pockets and selling the country out. Trump comes in and is his own guy. Say what you want about him. He's definitely the president. He's calling the shots. And that fundamentally freaks out the D.C., L.A., New York, San Francisco power axis. They don't know what to do. They disdain the Midwest. They disdain Illinois. They disdain Texas. They disdain everything from Tennessee to Alabama out to most of Washington State to Idaho to Utah to Montana to Colorado. And so say what you want about Trump. I'd give him an A-plus right now. He had about an A minus, uh, which is better than Hillary's, like a negative F. But when he signed the executive order Friday, right when he knew the report was done, as our sources told us, he dropped the hammer. Tens of billions of college money at state colleges and federally funded colleges that keep running the censorship will have their money pulled. That's default. It's discriminatory. Federal law says that. They'll try to challenge it in court, just like everything else Trump's done. It'll get shot down at the Ninth Circuit. It'll win at the Supremes. That took Trump from about a 91 to about a 96. If I was president, I'd probably be doing about a 55. Just because you want to get something good done doesn't mean you can get it done. This is phenomenal. And in this instant gratification culture, people don't appreciate what we've got. But I got to tell you, I still love Trump in the last couple months. And I was sincere on air that I was upset he wasn't fighting the censorship, but I knew getting all of you active and everybody else on target, along with Tucker Carlson, even Don Jr. and others, going after his dad, saying you need to take action. This is front burner. Word is Trump's going to do it. And I got that word about a week ago before he did it. They said, look, relax. Cavalry's coming. And I figured that. It's just that now I've gone from my gut telling me Trump's totally on target to <laughs> thinking, thank the Lord. But as I told you, Justice Department says Mueller report does not exonerate Trump. They still may try obstruction. I love it. Obstruction of a crime that doesn't exist. So they're going to try a bunch of other crap, but this is a big blow. And it's because MSMs failed to turn people against Trump. They failed to kill the economy. They failed. And a lot of this power structure is pragmatically going, why are we going to fund a civil war and let the Chinese run everything? This isn't even good for the elite. Why? Just, just stop. But it's all about the left's hate of America. It's spiritual. So here's part of a compilation that's up on Infowars.com and Newswars.com. Donald Trump's finished. The walls are closing in. <laughs> Here it is. There was none. There were low-level campaign aides that the Russians talked to. There were a few Russian ambassadors and people that went to big campaign events trying to meet with the guy after he was the nominee. That's standard. There was General Flynn, when Trump was president-elect, already making contacts with the Chinese, Russian, British, French, Mexican, all the major leaders. Canadian. But you see, the control corporate press knew that the public didn't know standard procedure. So they made everything Trump did look like some giant criminal activity. It's like they had that first G20 meeting and... Putin was there. It was like, what did he say as they walked down the hall of their leaders? They talked to each other for up to a minute. It was like, dun, 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 proof of treason. Then, when he Trump, six months after he should have, in office, should have been one of his first meetings, uh, superpower nuclear weapons, they send the Russian ambassador, Lavrov, and he meets with Trump for like an hour, and it's like, treason, ladies and gentlemen. Trump met to... The president meets with foreign leaders. He's the head of a branch of government. But we had to watch this. And, you know, it's surreal when you're walking through a hotel lobby or at the grocery store and you hear, F you, you Russian, I hope you go to prison or die. And you turn at some businessman or it's a businesswoman, someone's with their kids, and you're like, I, I, I'm an American patriot. Shut up, traitor. Stay away from us. And it's just very twilight zone. It's like 
you're a Martian space alien. None of it's true, but you're just like, uh, uh, uh. But these are conformist leftists. They watch PBS and CNN, and they believe it's God. They believe every word of it. And to them, this is their whole identity. And because it's not true, they're freaking out. I have personally, since this happened on Friday, since we heard the report came out, no collusion, now confirmed by the Attorney General, set to publish almost all the report except for some secret names, you know, sources. And I'll just be walking down the street and all of a sudden someone just pull their car up and they start going like, <laughs> I mean, they literally think, I'm like, yes, I am with the FSB. I can make my orders from a Putin. And if you say to them, hey, Hillary got hundreds of millions of dollars from Uranium One. Hey, uh, you know, the globalists want to get rid of our country. And then shift to shut up, racist, shut up, Nazi, shut up. And then they try to attack you. And their spirit is Jesse Smollett. That's what they do. Because they're virtue signalers. They don't produce. They lie. And our big, rich, powerful, free market country has created a climate. You've seen it at the Grand Canyon. You've heard about it in, in Japan with those monkeys that are so fat that live by the volcanic hot springs that, you know, the equivalent of like 500-pound men are so fat. The, you know, the ratio of obesity. And they're just totally lazy, hateful, mean. Suddenly when there's no work to do because everybody just gives them food, they're mean to each other. They do bad things. They throw poop at people's cars that give them food. When you pull up to give them food, they get mad at you and scream at you. Just 50 years ago, they wouldn't even get in the pools. We're scared of humans. Now they run everything. That is the mindset. And because no one's ever stood up to these little spoiled brats, they believe they're God. It's unbelievable. So the question to callers at 877-789-2539, where do you think this goes next? 877-789-2539, 877-789-ALEX. So let me tell you something. The corporate media are such liars. Twice yesterday, I had leftist. One time, a guy slowed his car down when I was downtown to go eat dinner with Joe Rogan. And another time, when these people were confronting me in a restaurant and then telling security that, that, that I'd come over to their table when they were on record coming over to me, I just stood up to them. And they go, where's your kids? Aha, I lost your kids. They're like, well, they're at home with the nanny. I didn't say that. I've got my kids 95% of the time. But the media says I lost my kids. The media says we're bankrupt and have been shut down. The media says we're losers. Because to the left, it doesn't matter if InfoWars is just as successful as it's ever been in a way even stronger, more hardened, more focused. Our listeners understand the score. We're, we're, we're more battle-hardened. But the left doesn't care. They want a simulation in their head. But when I'm in an airport, this has happened every time I've flown in the last two years. When they see me with all four of my children, sometimes right in front of my wife and kids, they come over and they go, F you and F your family. And my 14-year-old son, he's 16 now, said, hey, man, that's not very nice. And they said, F you, you want to fight? And two grown men bowed up to him. We're about to, and, then, and then when I came over, they ran off. That's who the left are, ladies and gentlemen. And you have to understand that there's no end to them. You have to understand there's no end to these people. They're entitled. They've been brought up in universities in their own bubble where they're allowed to intimidate, attack anybody they want. And they're now supposed to come out and conquer the world. Hillary was supposed to win. They were supposed to all get big, high-powered jobs. They were supposed to run our lives. They were born to rule, born to run like Beto. A shot of him out in the desert where he doesn't even live in Grand Canyon, 200 miles 
from where he even lives, and it's like, the prophet is here. They go, are you a prophet? He says, I was born for this, yes. And what does he say? He says, there's no question Trump is a Russian agent today. Well, if Russian agents get thousands of new factories and strengthen our military and take care of the veterans and stand up against censorship and get us out of foreign TPP that took our sovereignty, boy, we sure need more Russians running things. No, Trump's a hardcore American. And he's from a winning country. And he knows we're going to dominate if we just promote American values. And he isn't part of the sick, chai loving cult that sold the country out. And now under his leadership, we're learning about the treason that we told you about with Google and all the rest of these big telecoms. And I was told by sources, just settle down, Alex. As soon as the Mueller report comes out, Trump's dropping the hammer. He's not going to wait till the next election. After two plus years of the harassment, the attacks, there's got to be at least 10 congressional hearings I watched where they would just go, Alex Jones is a Russian agent, needs to be shut down. He takes his orders from Putin. And Obama set up that CIA stay behind network and they shut down almost everybody. So you can say, oh, well, ha ha, no collusion. They use that cover to turn intelligence agencies loose on the American people and censor the living hell out of everybody. So it's satisfying that they couldn't dig anything up or make anything up, but it's kind of like having your legs chopped off and then talking about how it's satisfied because they didn't get your throat slit yet. And believe me, with that whole big fake dragnet, they dug up lots of dirt on Trump associates for taxes or checks or girlfriends. And the next phase, they I told you it was coming, but they've said it's here. And I see one of the callers is making the point. Yeah, the Dems are already saying Mueller sold out. Oh, yeah, right. The establishment guy brought in, works for the Clintons, the Bushes, Obama, all of them. There's no Russia collusion. They grilled everyone, trying to get people to make something up. The best they had was one of the Trump people talked to a Russian agent at a bar in Italy and then got questioned about it a year later and forgot about it. Oh, my gosh. He talked to a Russian. It's kind of like the beginning of that great movie, Aliens. Sir, is this going to be another bug hunt? I'm like, who's that? Apparently, she saw an alien. <laughs> it's like, apparently, he talked to a Russian once. Oh, my gosh. Woo! It's just like... You know, I just can't help but I have to tell the truth. You know what? I'm not going to say it on air. I had Jack Posobiec on Friday, and I basically said it then. But you know these Google executives and people helping oppress the Chinese people, giving them all our secret DARPA technology. If a colonel in the military gave one one million to the Chinese, something like that, they'd never even get tried. They'd be killed. You signed on for that. You should be. And I, and I know there's a lot of money and everybody's been bought off by China, but my God, we've been sold out. And the audacity to point their fingers at people like me and Trump and say, we're on foreign payrolls? No, you are, and you know it, scum. And I'm not going to do anything to you. Because that's not my department. But the worm is turning. Doesn't mean if I needed to, I wouldn't. You're found guilty of treason. They want me to kick the switch to open that trap door and drop your neck down and snap that son of a bitch. I swear to God, I'll pull those levers all day. Because I'm sick of your crap. You're not just traitors selling us out to horrible authoritarian regime that's killed way more than Hitler did. You're trying to take my freedoms and lock my ass up? To quote Emperor Palpatine, no, 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 you will die. Anyways, I, I've just had enough. I am not a traitor. I am an American. That's all I've ever done. Everyone knows it. It's all my family's ever done. And I am sick of these traitors pissing all over the country and getting away with it. I said I'd get to these clips to go to your calls. I'm sorry. Whew. 
You try having your phones tapped. You try getting followed around by the FBI where they want you to know they're out in the parking lot. You try them questioning your friends and family. You try the whole system trying to bankrupt you, and they know full damn well you have no connections to foreign powers. It's disgusting. And again, I'm not saying 99% of the FBI is involved. It's the special dirty units. And this is a big defeat for them. Believe me, they thought they'd find something. My God, you go to D.C., there's Russian and Chinese and Indian and Mexican and Saudi and Qatari money and Dubai money just flying everywhere. So they thought, well, there's got to be something because they're all knee-deep in it. A lot of them over their heads. But there wasn't. Because Trump doesn't trust anybody and runs everything himself. And that's why you're so scared, is he's the total outsider. Just like, I'm a total outsider. I don't want to be in D.C. around all you people. I don't need to be around your establishment to think I've arrived. I've arrived genetically, spiritually. I don't want to be around you. There was some free open country better than this one. I'd get out of here. I want to live out in the middle of nowhere. So don't you ever try to say I'm you. And this is a big repudiation of your treasonous garbage. So, so it is a victory, but they're not going to give up. Here's uh, Mark Dice breaking down some of their whining and puling uh, once things didn't come through the way they wanted. Here it is. Well, Robert Mueller has finally ended his investigation into the Trump-Russia collusion conspiracy theories and handed his big nothing burger of a report into the Attorney General's office. Before we take a look at how the liberal media is reacting to the news that there will be no impeachment, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. You told the Washington Post last week that, quote, there's a smell of treason in the air when it comes to this investigation. We are looking at the possibility that the president of the United States and those around him during an election campaign colluded with a hostile foreign power to undermine the basis of our democracy. Donald Trump now sits at the threshold of impeachment. There's outright treason. I mean, there is no question uh, that what he is doing is giving aid and comfort to the enemy. It does look like collusion. It does look like he's listening to Putin more than he is American intelligence. And frankly, I've never seen that before. Vladimir Putin and his associates, somebody has something on Donald Trump. We're hearing a new word, right? He, he said it was treason. Do you believe that the Trump campaign colluded with the Russians in the 2016 campaign? Yes. Do you believe the president himself colluded with the Russians? Yes, he colluded. And I, I don't think that's a hard answer to the question at all. I certainly say with confidence that there is significant evidence of collusion uh, between the campaign and Russia. It's beyond the shadow of a doubt to me that if there was not collusion, there was at least the effort to collude with a foreign power. And in the report, yeah, then goes into the fact that they now have to admit that that's not the case. We'll come back and play some more of that in a moment. But I wanted to play Maxine Waters. She says, oh, nothing stops. We just go forward. Now, remember, this is the lady that wants to get rid of our borders. This is the lady that wants to get rid of our sovereignty. She's the lady that says America sucks. She says drain the swamp came from Putin with no proof. Here's Maxine Waters flipping out. And you have uh, Donald Trump supporters, including his former U.N. ambassador, Nikki Haley, out there tweeting and saying, essentially presuming that the president has been exonerated by the report. And uh, in Nikki Haley's case, uh, saying that it's been completed and everyone should just move on. It's, it's, it's a curious position to take since we don't know what's in the report. Um, but do you see colleagues on the other side of the aisle sort of declaring this whole thing at an end uh, and wanting no further inquiry. I know that the House has something like 80 subpoenas still out. Absolutely. Well, I want to tell you that this president has a way of trying to get into people's heads and indoctrinate them. He's been saying no collusion, no collusion, no collusion over and over again for a long time now. And he's going to try and conclude uh, that there, this report is proving that there's no collusion. And you have a lot of his sycophants who will, you know, take the nod from him and they'll say the same thing. Uh, but we cannot allow them to get away with this. He does this all the time. This this is not the end of anything. This is the, well, it's the end of the report and the investigation by... Right, let's stop there. But so Donald Trump's lawyers didn't pay $5 million in taxes for a taxi company he had that had zero to do with Trump. And another lawyer in Chicago that was one of the lawyers on Trump Tower there 
and his own personal tax deal as well, and then a few other lawyers. So a giant dragnet, a national security dragnet, looking into everything, warrantless spying, Trump has basically had a magnifying glass put on him that has never been done to a president in U.S. history. It's equivalent of a proctology exam every day, a dental exam every day. I mean, it's complete, and there's nothing there. People have been trying to set up Trump for 45 years. When he bought up golf courses because the old, rich, white people wouldn't let blacks, Hispanics, or Jews, or Asians be on them, they were all falling apart because all the weird old white people wouldn't let anybody in, but they were all like 90 years old and wouldn't let anybody in. Trump bought them up for nothing. But they'd come after him when he bought them up. It's famous. And they would look for any dirt they could with the local government, and they couldn't find it. Trump knows not having dirt is a good thing, just like me. There's no dirt. And I watch people try to always manufacture it, always like act like something we're doing is dirty or something we're doing is bad. Now, we do things that are private and secret, so the enemy doesn't know where to hit us, but we don't do anything illegal. I, I don't even speed anymore. I used to have a little bit of a heavy foot, very rarely. Today I got on the highway and was going like 60, and the, the car had like 100 car links behind me probably. It's way back there. Come zooming up like 100 on my ass. No kids in the car, no cars around me. All right, boom, 100 in about three seconds, and like, whoa, they're like, yeah. So, I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Every once in a while, I get a little bit of a lead foot. Maybe five times a year instead of five times a day now, though. And never with my kids around or if the highway's busy. It's still not good. I shouldn't do it. My wife's like, sell the Hellcat and just drive your F-150. And it's true. But but I'm digressing. That's it. You want to get me on something? That's it. I did it today. And it was really funny because there's these young kids in these little bitty Japanese cars from like Fast and Furious. They really think they're really fast. And they've got this thing about running up on the ass of your car. And if you're driving a real powerful muscle car, you just blast past them. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm digressing. You don't tune in for that. And I want to go to your phone calls. We'll start your calls next hour. Uh, Preston and Chase and Heather and Matthew and Virginia and Jim and Mike and David and Greg and Dennis and Pastor and everybody else. But uh, getting back to this, since I mentioned the Mark Dice piece, here, here's Mark just playing some of the clips. I've got like a 10-minute compilation here, but here's a, him, his is shorter, probably better. The video's up on Infowars.com and MarkDice.com. Here's some of uh, them having to admit that, okay, uh, there's no collusion in the report, and now a summary's been sent, and now the full report's going to probably be released. They rarely do that because there's, you know, names of sources and things, but other than those being cut out, it's going to be pretty much unredacted. Here it is. And we're going to talk about the Mueller report, what's coming next. Will Mueller get away scot-free? I'll briefly, when we start the next segment, give you my take on it. But, yeah, they're lucky they're not all indicted. Because the way they went about this whole investigation was fraudulent. They lied to Congress. And I can tell you behind the scenes, there's been a truce supposedly made by the bodies. But I wouldn't trust the globalists as far as you could throw them. I don't just want wars and internal strife for no reason. I'm not like the globalists that want to mount everybody's head on the wall so I feel dominant, but these people, there's no honor amongst these people. So this is a big victory, though, because they came up empty, but they're going to try to regroup. So a lot of people think that, you know, we can all just sell off in the sunset together. Uh, Dennis, uh, you think the left's going to implode. They're already imploding. In fact, I want to put out an alert for any public figures, Christians, conservatives, well-known people. They are out. They are usually one of them tries to assault me every two weeks or so. Twice yesterday. The day before, uh, I, I, I've been thrown out of businesses I'm in now when they just see I'm in them. They are, women just walk up and start crying and hyperventilating and, get out of here, get out of here. I mean, they're, they're already imploding. What do you think is going to happen, Dennis? Well, technically, you, you, they are going to implode. What's, what's happening now, you will start seeing them eat at each other at a rapid rate. They will start bringing up the negative stuff that each one of them have done. But it's going to be done during that presidential debate. They have so many people. You're going to watch the ultimate show on the Democrat Party. This is about to be it. I'm telling you, 2020, we are moving straight forward. Ain't no turning back for us now. You know, I agree with you. What is the phenomenon about leftists all over the world? 
that they have to bring people down so they're always backbiting each other. They're, they're, they're their own worst problem. That's because they, just like uh, Beto O'Rourke said, he was, he was made for this. This is the mentality of these people. They're showing you, you're, you're supposed to heal to me. Ain't that what Hillary Clinton said about black, black people? Yeah. You have to look at it. Look at it. These people think they're the elite ruling class politically. That's it. Just let them, let them do what they do. No, you're right. They want everybody to heal to them like a dog. Exactly. One way, shape, form, or fashion. Doesn't make a difference. We'll start with your censorship, then we're going to come and get your guns, and then after that, hey, we're going to turn this into China. Please start giving us your kids. You can only have two kids, and one of them better be a girl. I'm telling you. That's just a mentality model. That's the model. That is the leftist model. They've been taking everything that George Soros has thrown at them, all that money. Guess what? Going to have to pay the piper now. Dennis, don't hang up. Your points are so good. I want you to repeat them and expand on them when we come back from break. Uh, because you're, And I want to hear what you think is going to come next. But that's exactly right. And I've learned with the left, too especially with their minions, it's all about the illusion of power. They'll wait for you outside a restaurant to say, get out of here, get out of here, when they knew I was already going to my car looking for, and they're going to reportedly release it in the next few days. I always knew there was no collusion, and they couldn't get anybody for plea bargains to make it up. But what do they do now? And I'm, I'm telling people, you don't know what it's like to be Trump or his family unless you're a public figure that's been a Trump supporter. I have, and I'm not complaining, I'm just telling you something. I try to go anywhere in downtown Austin, or I try to go to a Whole Foods, or I try to go to a restaurant, and I may shake 30 hands. But in the last two days since this happened, I get confronted everywhere I go, and they are violent, and they are angry, and after they threaten you, they run and call security on you. These people are crazy. And dangerous. And they really believe MSNBC and CNN. They really are that whacked out. And I don't know what's going to come next. You were making some great points. Repeat those. And, then, and, then, and then my question, Dennis, is you said they're going to implode. What's that going to look like? And are they going to take us with them? Well, it's not so much, all right, the implosion of them is the politically elite class who believe in their mind they should have total control over you. Like you and said, Beto O'Rourke says, I'm just born to rule you. Exactly. I'm born for this. But in actuality, just like you said earlier as well, it's a false pretense. They believe in this thing called power. Well, let's say you do get the power. How do you divide up the pie? Who is going to be where? Who's going to do what? That was the whole reason Hillary Clinton had to win. They have already divvied up this country how they want it. That's, that's why they're so pissed. Exactly. They believe this was their time. Yes, this was their time. But unfortunately, they didn't count on real smart Americans to actually see through it. And hence comes Trump. It's just that simple. Everybody was sitting here wondering, how did this, this happen? Well, let's look at the chain of events you people put us through. That's just it. I mean, everything that is something hard happened, hard hitting the that uh, that could have possibly affect society. Why is there no full disclosure? Why does it take so long for those reports to come out? Has that has anybody thought of that? Because you're not made to know. They think that the average mind here in America is so low IQ that. Oh, you just shut up and you just do like you're told. Go to work, go home. Go to work, go home. Don't enjoy life. Hell, it's about to end in 12 years. Come on. And by the way, she's told to say that. Imagine to a young person, like adults learn to not be scared. But when I was a kid, if I saw a congresswoman say the world's ending, I'd be scared at night. Yeah, and that's the whole thing. You need to do like we're telling you. Don't question it. You need to do like we're telling you. And the whole thing about it is this, Alex. This is the ultimate thing. How do we fix it? We start in the areas that need it. Look at Detroit with their water. Look at Michigan. Look at what's happening in Chicago. You think, I mean, I mean, 
literally think about the Chicago with all those cameras. I used to live there. There's a camera, if not four, on every street corner. So how how did they find who did that to Jesse Smollett? But they can't find out who's killing these cops. Hmm. How is that possible? No, you're right. It's because, because the Democratic Party's a mafia and it wants it to be crime ridden, and they had the Republicans under control for a while. In fact, I've got articles where record drug interceptions at the border, record indictment of drug dealers. Uh, Trump's going after the pharmaceutical companies that are pushing OxyContin. He's actually trying to clean things up, and I can't believe he's actually doing it. Great points. God bless you, Dennis. Yeah, Trump's a miracle, and they attack me because I say that, but it's just the truth. I mean, he is a miracle. But people were praying. No collusion, no obstruction, complete and total exoneration. Keep America great. And what is one of the top liberal journalists out there Greenwald say about all this. Lynn Greenwald, you know, a liberal that has a conscience, old-fashioned liberal. While standard liberal outwards obediently said whatever they were told by the CIA and the FBI, many reporters of right-wing media outlets, which are routinely mocked by super smart liberals as primitive propagandistic, did relentlessly great digging and reporting. Sorry, this is true. And it goes on. Great caller. Dems already saying Mueller sold out. Yeah, let's go to Preston and hear about that. We'll go to Chase and then to Pastor Sam. Preston, um, yeah, I've got the articles right here. Uh, they've got Joy Reid, everybody saying that Mueller sold out. Mueller, M M <laughs> that's pretty hilarious. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing in the news. That's what uh, everything looks to be. And I just wanted to make the point that we need to make sure as Trump supporters that we don't rush to defend Mueller against the Democrats' character assassination campaign that's already underway. Just let him eat Mueller up. Just let him keep going, shed more light on Mueller. Kind of like the Dems, whenever Comey was fired, they immediately fell in love with him. But, uh, well, we just said that with the last caller. I know noticed conservatives and people, we don't throw each other overboard unless somebody really deserves it and asks for it. They love to throw each other overboard. It's their big weakness. And, and, and you're absolutely right. Uh, that uh, that's what Trump's saying. He's saying it's criminal, it's a joke, uh, that it's all a fraud, and it was the biggest criminal witch hunt in history, which is true. He's not kissing Mueller's butt now that, now that the truth's come out. Yeah, and what the Dems are doing to their voters and constituents, because Mueller and Comey are registered Republicans on paper. They're basically controlled opposition, rhinos, Republicans in name only. But they both said they would yeah. vote for Hillary. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And Ben Shapiro said he'd rather have Hillary as president than, you know, Trump. So, But they're going to sell the false left-right paradigm to their voters as if the establishments on both sides don't hate Trump and they don't work together behind the scenes. It's two front doors to the slaughterhouse, but they will convince their constituents that there's some vast Republican conspiracy – even though Comey and Mueller couldn't be any less Republican. And if they are... No, I agree. So, uh, obviously, we know what comes next. They use the illegal wiretaps in the Mueller investigation to drag net and find dirt. But because they didn't find it, they would have already launched more of these investigations. They keep saying it's coming. I think you'll see a few Southern District in New York. You'll see some stuff in Chicago. But I just... They came up empty. I mean, Trump's not running scams for the mere fact that that's how people get control of you is running scams. Yeah, I can't even believe that they were able to go through everything that they did with Trump and not find a crooked toenail, not find something messed up on taxes or something to get him. It's really unbelievable. I, I would have, you know, bet pretty much everything I had. They would have found something that was illegal or something that was, you know, uh, against the fray. They can't because it's all standard operating procedure. It's like when the New York Times published 50-year-old tax returns saying, from the time his children were young, every year the father put money into trust funds. That's what rich people have done for 100 years. It's standard. I mean, that's all you've got? Oh, wow. He avoided taxes legally. whoop de do. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. And, I mean, he got a million-dollar loan from his father and turned it into $10 billion or whatever it is. He increased his original loan by 10,000 times. But he's, he's either some Luddite um, idiot who, who can't run the country or he's some super genius, you know, evil person that was able to uh, sneak past the NSA and the DOJ and everybody else. Now, I know what the win. truth is. Trump's a hard-hitting pragmatist who just common sense looks at things and doesn't do it on a Machiavellian weirdo scale. He just shoots it straight. And that's why they keep thinking it's a, you know, 10th dimension chess. It's not. 
it's just looking at things like what's fair and what's real. I can tell you, you know, the secret, uh, you know, about Trump, why he doesn't want his tax returns released. It's because he isn't like Google and people who pay zero tax, but he does diversify into new companies, new businesses to keep it low, or you could never run a business. And the truth is, is that he doesn't have that much money on paper. Excuse me, 2,800 2, subpoenas. I was thinking 200 subpoenas. I went, no, no, it's 2,800 subpoenas. People always accuse me of rounding up. I tend to round down. Nothing. Because there wasn't any. The Russians are small-time players in geopolitical manipulation. They're big players in raw energy, raw material. The Chinese are the ones that basically have already taken the country over. Trump's just trying to get control back. And finally, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, the Secretary of Defense, are saying that because it's a fact. I was told 15 years ago in Hollywood by top people that China already owned controlling shares in half of the production companies. It's six of the eight now. They run it. <laughs> and Google is helping them. You know, it's crazy. My subconscious brain sometimes gets mad at me because it's smarter, obviously, than the conscious brain hundreds of times. I had a dream about Jeff Bezos like last week. Because I have like these dreams where I'm doing PowerPoints, I'm giving speeches, I'm doing work. I like, I like work during my dreams. Sometimes it's my best work time. And in my dream, I'm sitting there talking to Jeff Bezos, and Jeff's like, I ship stuff in from all over the world and have millions of employees here in the U.S., and you say I'm the worst big tech giant. I'm not selling slave goods in China. I don't run death camps in China. I'm not like Apple that you know is helping round up the political dissidents and put their iCloud keys over there and... I'm not uh, like Google helping a run dragonfly and surveil their people. I'm fighting Alibaba in China. It's a weird dream. And the weird thing is you wake up from that dream and you're like, why am I going after Jeff Bezos when literally of all the tech heads, he's the worst, he, he, he's the least of the worst. He, he's, the, he's the lesser of, of, of the corruption. And this is some defense of Jeff Bezos and all the stuff that goes on at Amazon and all the you know, employees and the rest of it. it. It was just sitting back and thinking about orders of magnitude, what Google and Apple are doing in China versus what Amazon's doing. And it's just my subconscious brain, even in, in a dream, is like going, uh, Alex, this, he's not the target. Because let me tell you something, you could give the head of Google 50 years in prison for selling us out to China and giving him the AI. Bezos is working with the U.S. military. You could go after... Apple for what they've done in China and arrest Tim Cook. And I'm not even saying do that. But my God, it, it's just the order of magnitude of treason is unbelievable by these people. And it was kind of an epiphany. Don't know why I just threw that out there. Just it hit me the other night. I had a dream about it. I'm telling you about it. Okay, we're going to go back to your calls. I have that big news on the SPLC that I'm going to cover during the last segment then get to Greg Reese's powerful report. Uh, but a lot of Things are happening to the establishment groups that are promoting racism and division in this country, the name of fighting it. And they've got up to a billion dollars offshore. They're tied into foreign intelligence agencies. I'm going to give you the inside scoop on the SPLC and their employees and all the documented racism, sexism, sexual abuse. But that was their specialty 30 years ago. It came out in Morris Deese's divorce, all the stuff that was going on that his wife didn't want to do in those hotel rooms. Uh, let's talk to who's up next here. I'll never get to everybody, but I'll start one of these calls. Pastor Sam in Texas, thanks for holding her on the air. Hey, Alex. Yes, Trump is a genius. And I met with a lot of Republicans, really the whole Republican core of Texas over the weekend at two different meetings. A lot of great heroes. There was a lot of talk there. These, were the, these are the people that we support and that support us. But Trump got out ahead of Mueller. He got out ahead of him and pushed upon in the center of the board by bringing up McCain. This is a real hot button because, uh, for example, Dan Crenshaw, Navy SEAL, Texas congressman, he's really sore about this. He's served in the military. He's a war hero. He lost his eye on the battlefield. He's one of the few congressmen that is in favor, as I am, of intervention in Venezuela. He's ticked off about this. Joni's ticked off about it, too. But here's the thing. Alex, you have pushed 
the real issue out front that there's devil worship behind all this. Joni just admitted she stood up for all the USA Gymnastics girls valiantly. Joni just admitted in 2019 that she herself is a rape victim, that she was raped in college. And so now the question is, how much does rape, child rape, child sacrifice control the world, and are we going to face that or not? And I would really like to see all of the Republican Congress come out strong, strong. No, strong. no, I hear you, and I appreciate your call. Well, Trump's coming out against this post-birth abortion, partial birth abortion, and that's good. You know, John McCain can hide behind the, his military service. He was part of the Keating Five. He was part of working with ISIS and al-Qaeda and just all sorts of anti-gun, open-border stuff. So, you know, this is that giant month-long worship when he died like Herbert Walker Bush, I just think a lot of these well-meaning conservatives buy into mainstream media hype. And a lot of that's because they're so old. And it's not bad they're old, but that's that's not where the world's going. Uh, but I appreciate your call. Good point. Okay, who's up next here? Hmm. Heather uh, in New York. You're on the air. Welcome. Hi, Alex. Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Hi. Well, you know, I just wanted to say that um, I'm a, a longtime um, listener. I'm a big fan of you. Um, you know, like I'm, I'm in New York. I hate New York. I think New York's gotten even worse than California, if you ask me, with it, the Blasio and, and everything else, um, take away, trying to take away our rights and everything else. It's so liberal, disgusting. But, uh, you know, I, I, do, I do agree with everything that you're saying, and I think that uh, it's total corruption. It's just total corruption. I mean, I think that I don't even know if there is any any Republicans left. You know what I mean? I think they're like. Well, if you're up in De if you're up in New York, I can understand why you think that. But Trump has said greatest witch hunt in history. Uh, he's tweeted. It's, it's just pulled his latest tweets. I have it, but I can't find the stack. He came out and said, you know, it's it's a huge. There it is. Trump celebrates Mueller findings. This was an illegal take down that failed. That's what it is. And. The crew's asking, what about lock her up? What about going after Mueller? What about going after Strzok? What about going after Page? What, well, what about going after McCabe? And they're the ones that committed all the crimes. And the word is, it's con it's confirmed. There are grand juries open and looking at it all. Uh, and, and, and so I think Trump has to go down that path because, sure, let them sail off of the sunset if they left America alone. That deep state's not going to quit unless we bring them to justice. Remember what Trump said? Now that the Russia collusion is over, can we go after the real crimes of the deep state? Can you guys put that tweet the president put out a few months ago back up on screen, please? Because I want TV viewers to be able to see that. Now that Russia collusion is a proven lie, when do the trials for treason begin? Thank you so much, Heather. You're asking, when does Mueller not get away scot-free? Well, like you. I want to go to Greg, David, Mike, Jim, Virginia, Chad, Chase, and Matthew, and I've got a bunch I have, need to cover in the last segment as well. So let's go quickly through your great calls. Let's go ahead and talk to Chase the Patriot from California. You're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, thank you so much for taking my call. Yes, Chase the Patriot, front lines on YouTube, brother. And I got three big points here that I'm uh, putting together an episode for. You know, with President Trump and the Mueller report coming out, it's a big win for him. So what's going to be the counterattack from the deep state? The second one is the Democrats and all their investigations in the House of Representatives. All that is is a drag on to the next election cycle. And then third and most important, when I saw your clip in the restaurant and you had those people attacking you, that reminds me here in California of all the closet Trump supporters. They don't wear the MAGA hat. They don't put a bumper sticker on because they know that they will actually get attacked by the crazy leftist loon. But, you know, we try to compose ourselves and we support the president, and you better believe they'll go in and vote when it comes election time. Chase, thank you. Great point. Uh, and I think you're right. That we're in danger of them staging a false flag. Uh, what type of false flag do you think they might stage? Well, you know, the thing that uh, is just like in New Zealand, it's probably going to do something with the Second Amendment because they're already attacking our First Amendment rights. And it's only, you know, Second Amendment is on their targets as well. So well, I got to say this. You know, I know there are real crazies on all sides, Muslim extremists, white supremacists, whatever. So I'm like, okay, guy goes in, he kills, manifesto. I don't agree with it, but, you know, it looks like it's a real crazy. And then the way you can't question it, and then the way they said that I said it didn't happen, and the way they won't let you show the manifesto or the video, but they can show it, and now all the censorship and URLs being blocked in New Zealand and 
all this stuff. Now it's very suspicious. I don't know what's going on, but it's like when they banned us on YouTube back last February, not this February, last February, 20, I don't know, 14 months ago. We had local people saying the police stood down on video. And then they said, Jones says no one dies. Then later it turned down, turned out the cops stood down. So a lot of times when they're saying don't question, it's because it's not that it didn't happen. There's something they're covering up. I appreciate your call. They're acting very, 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 very suspicious. And since when are we not supposed to look into vaccines or look into drugs that are on the market or look into a big public events? Everybody always questions big public events. There were all sorts of conspiracy theories about uh, O.J. Simpson. They used one to get him off. Turns out it was probably false. He probably did it. But there's some evidence the police were trying to frame O.J. because they thought he was guilty. So he got off. That's the American system. Imagine today, you're not supposed to question, O.J. did it. We're told O.J. did it, O.J. did it. Doesn't make sense, does it? Thank you so much for the call, Chase. Let's talk to Matthew in South Carolina about the Mueller report and what he thinks is coming next. Go ahead, Matthew. Hey, Alex. Yes, sir. Hey, um, it's actually South Georgia. It's not South Carolina. I'm sorry. I read that wrong. That's fine, man. It's an honor to be on the show, man. Hey, I learned about you at a Trump rally, man, back in um, 2016. I saw all the InfoWars shirts and uh, put two and two together. I remember hearing Hillary mention something about it, so I went and checked it out. There was probably 25 to 30 percent of uh, InfoWars shirts out there. And uh, I just want to say, man, the majority of that 25 to 30 percent was young college kids. He did the rally near college and um those college kids they don't want to listen to donna brazil shepherd smith ron williams these college kids are learning and they want to hear from owen schroyer and david knight alex jones paul joseph watson mark dice these are the people that we want to hear from we don't want to hear from this establishment fake news i'm sick of it i am sick I'm putting boots on the ground. I got a chip tooth from these people, these scum demons that want to ruin our country. They want to turn it into communist China. And this is what's going What coming. happened to you? Were you attacked Were you attacked by leftists? I was attacked by leftists at a Trump rally. We had to park like four or five miles away. And on the walk there, Antifa, and there was this truck going by that said uh, Brian Kemp. And then it, and it said... Uh, uh, it, it was like comparing Brian Kemp to um, Jim Crow. And well, let me break this down for you. Let me break this down for you. Why do you think the left and Hillary came after me? They had ignored Infowars, and then at all the Trump rallies, like you said, about 20 to 30 percent of the shirts were lock her up, Infowars.com. So then they went and looked at our numbers and went, my God. I mean, before they censored us back then, it was like 50 million extra viewers a week conservatively, election week, 80-something million. And then they went, oh, my God, we got to destroy this guy. He, he's relaunched the grassroots anti-globalist movement. No, I was just a person that saw it and was involved in it in a focal point. Trying to shut me down does nothing. It only makes it get stronger. So the point you make is great. That's why we need the next viral T-shirts at public events so that when Democrats and others see that, they know uh, that they're going to lose. And so that's very exciting. Matthew, thank you so much for the call. You know, I've got Chad, Virginia, Jim, Mike, David, and Greg, and I said I'm getting every call, but I've got to get to the great stuff happening at the Southern Property Law Center as they've been caught red-handed, they're imploding, and we've also got this Greg Reese report, but let's, let's get one more caller in before we go to break here. Greg wants to make fun of Mueller. Now the criminals are going to get what they deserve. David, who's been holding the longest here? That'd be David in New York. David, thanks for holding. What is your take on that? You think they're going to get what they deserve now? Great job, Alex. Great show today. A lot of great points. I'd like to say, Alex, that what I think is going to happen is you're going to see a reverse engineering of the two years of the slow but uh, 
terrible process we had to endure of trying to wear the Trump people out and our great president. Now, even today, our great president said, hey, maybe we're going to start looking into the other side of this. And slowly but surely, Alex, we're going to see Comey, we're going to see McCabe and all these creeps. And I hope even Obama and Clinton slowly but surely come under the great hand of justice of this great country and turn this thing around and bring us back into control because we should have it because we're in the right and we want to do the right thing. Keep up the great work, Alex. I'm starting to get excited again. Well, David, don't hang up because you're making great points. Trump knows that this evil is so out of control and so embedded. We have to go after it or it's just going to come back. And they're not going to make deals to back off. Their religion is destroying America. And I agree with him going after the censorship on Friday and the statements he's making. Uh, they're scared. And spiritually, leftists are linked up. It's demonic. It's low level, but they're linked up. They are running around like chickens with their heads cut off right now. Absolutely, Alex. When you stand up to bully, just like your last caller, you look the bully in the eye. And he takes his best shot, and then you, you respond, then you keep going after him. That's exactly what we're going to do, and the president's going to do that. And this new attorney general, I have faith in our country again, and I'm, it's exciting. Take him on. Look, you can't back down now, Mr. President. we got to take him down. Or We've been held back by global attacks, but we're still expanding in the face of it. Um, I want to go to Chad, Virginia, Jim, Mike, and Greg. Greg Reese just filed a very powerful report about why can't anybody question or even investigate the New Zealand shooting? Why is it so unprecedented? Christchurch used a silence questioning on global scale. Very important report. We'll air it tomorrow during the weekday show. I hope David Knight airs it too. It's powerful. And I promise I'm going to start the show off tomorrow unless there's some huge event with SPLC implodes. President legal director resign amid sexual misconduct scandal. Folks, they've got up to a billion bucks offshore. First it was 500 million and they found even more. And they're just there to say everything under the sun's racist when they themselves are horrible people and working for the globalist. And the fact that they're in so much trouble, <coughs> the word is media matters is next. Soros, you notice, came out two weeks ago and said, okay, China's a threat. Let's leave Trump alone. They get the writing on the wall. They're losing, we're winning. That's a big deal, and that's a big takeaway. So your prayers, you're spreading the word of NewsWars.com, InfoWars.com, the videos, the articles, via email, via text, uh, thanking local stations, supporting our sponsors. Uh, all of it is at an effect. You've done it. Signing up for the free newsletter, InfoWars.com, forward slash newsletter. Buying the products at InfoWarsStore.com. It's had a huge effect. And, 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 yeah, we are one of the most central systems here attacking the globalist. But we're just a focal point, so I salute you and I thank you. Uh, Chad in Texas, uh, you asked uh, how long until Rosenstein resigns. Hey, Alex, man. Uh, thanks for being the vanguard in the fight, brother. Thank you. Yeah, um, now that, now that Mueller's done, how long do you think uh, it's going to be until Rosenstein's in the unemployment line? I'm sorry, Marty, I was breaking up. Say that again. Now that Bob Mueller's done, how long do you think he's going to be until Rosenstein's in the unemployment line? Well, you know, that's a question because d does Trump leave them all alone so they don't struggle and fight against the country and just move forward? That's called giving people abstention or kind of a reprieve or, or amnesty. Uh or do they keep coming back? And I, th I don't think they can help but come back because they've committed so many crimes. The political interests that run them, because they're just minions, are going to keep pushing them. And so I don't think Trump has a choice. It's the right thing to do anyways. He needs to prosecute them. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. Thanks for taking my call tonight, man. Thank you, Chad. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Virginia in California. Virginia, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Hey, Alex. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Thanks for joining us. I, I wanted to say thank you for the vanilla coconut bars. Those are great. And I just wanted to say that we need to keep our eyes on France because uh, God is going to send them a leader that's going to save them. And, and he's going to give a lot of consolation to President Trump. So let's just keep our eyes on France. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. You know, they asked Pompeo... Uh, over in Israel a few days ago, CBN did, whether he, he thought Trump was risen up by God. He said probably. 
and then the media freaked out saying, oh my God, we've got a cult running us. You know, God uses good people, bad people, people in between, but the left has their own God. So the idea that people are Christian and that they believe we pray and then, and that, and then, and then you know, God sends us people that'll be good leaders, uh, that's what history shows. So I do appreciate your call, Virginia. Uh, what do you think's coming next? Um, I, I think that we're going to find out that France is going to kind of lead the world into peace. And then after that, uh, you know, whatever. So anyway, all right. All right. Well, I appreciate your call. Sounds like your phone's breaking up a little bit. Appreciate you. Jim in Texas, you're on the air. Welcome. God bless you, Alex, and God bless the crew. Man, they're so thankful to be part of the Info Warriors uh, crew. I'm a monthly supporter. I'm hoping there's going to be a lot more people, especially after this 50-hour broadcast that will be monthly supporters. Just amazing time we're in. Absolutely. If people like things like our great coffee or toothpaste or fish oil or, or – uh, the the protein bars, things you're going to want every month, every two months, sign up for auto ship, get an additional 10% off, and that way it's a tithe, and you get the product, you don't have to worry about it, because I'm the same way. We came up with auto ship like five years ago because I'd forget to get the coffee myself and go to the store, and I'm like, wait, I sell good coffee. Why aren't I going to our own warehouse? So that's why we do that, so thank you. No, my wife says it's the best. I mean, she's gone to a lot of uh, organic coffees, and I keep Bringing him home, so it's awesome. Joe Rogan's a big hey, coffee know. addict, and he was here. He's like, oh, this is really good coffee. Uh, this is the amazing times we're in. Um, it's sort of like the uh, the chalk blocks off of the uh, semi on a big hill has been released because it's the Mueller report. So now I think our president can do what he wanted to do a long time ago, but he was hesitant, and rightly so, because you can't say that he's obstructing the investigation by doing anything. And now he can't be uh, told that he's obstructing anything. No, I agree. But before strike. the House launches dozens of other fake investigations, he's got to strike back now. Because they're telling him, sir, we're going to stop. We know you're not a bad guy. It's, gonna, it's not going to stop. Absolutely. But now he can, Alex, because he had that uh, uh, the fog over him that he couldn't. Can't go ahead and fire. And by the way, I've always been spiritual, but if you look at how the left is connected, like wirelessly, like bots, have, I don't know if you've seen, have you seen how, not just on TV, but in person, the left is freaking out, which signifies to me their God knows they're in trouble. Absolutely. But so now we need to be more unified than them. If your lights go out in six months and we do our absolute best, I'll be knocking on your door. I'll be walking down the street. We'll still keep this fight going because this is a spiritual fight, and God's been working in the background. you got to see that. you got to see. I know you know. Oh, I a thousand percent know that. <laughs> We're going to see more because now the, the floodgates are open. Absolutely. And, you know, you hang with the people that are hot. It's like uh, coals in the middle of the fire. Keep it going. That little coal that goes off to the side kind of burns out. So we can't reach everybody, but we're going to red pill as many as we can. And knowing that Americana is white, it's godly influence, it cannot be stopped by Islam or any other thing, and we are going to win this fight. Beautiful, Jim. Thank you. Mike in North Carolina, Northern California. Mike in Northern California, then Greg. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, Alex, good to talk to you. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm just a simple logger up here in Northern California listening to all this. I'm you know, I, I'm a former deputy sheriff. I'm a United States Marine. I love the country. But I think what most people need to realize, it's not Democrat, Republican. It's good and evil. It's about a fundamental change in the United States of America to change. I mean, what happens if every 10 years we get another, what is her name, Ian Omar? Um, if they keep bringing people into our country, which I'm, I want all people to be here. If you want to assimilate. If sure, but they're bringing part, people in that fundamentally are here to conquer. Exactly, and that's what's going Look at Minnesota, okay? And now we have Omar. What's going to happen in five years, in 10 years, when they keep opening the floodgates? I hate to say it, but, I mean, somebody, somebody needs to say it, and somebody needs to do it, and they need to get a handle on what's going on in this country. And when because the Muslims blow thing. stuff up and shoot people, we, we don't say it's Muslims. We go, oh, ISIS isn't Muslims, or this church being blown up isn't Muslims. But then when Muslims get killed, everybody goes, oh, we're all guilty. We're all wearing hijabs. And I feel sorry for the Muslims. I want them to get out of that cult. But I hear what you're saying. 
uh, and uh, you were you were you were going to point out that real conservatives don't have a platform. They're shutting down people that don't back down. Mike, thank you. I'm taking you on for five minutes, but I've, I've got to get to the final caller. Greg in California again, another Californian wants to make fun of Mueller. Go ahead, brother. You got about seventy seconds. Yeah. Oh. Hello, Alex. How you doing? I'm all right. Uh, I've been a listener since 2008. Spent about six thousand dollars since last April, uh, and I'm going to. If it be wasn't for you, bit. if it wasn't for you, Soros would have won, brother. Yeah, you know what? I well, never mind. Hey, you know what? I wrote uh, the president uh, yesterday. Uh, I I did, I asked him if he, you know, for a campaign gimmick fundraiser, uh, Mueller report toilet paper. So I went and looked at custom toilet paper printing, and a company called Pro Pro Paper Products dot com. <laughs> And I think we, he, they look a little patriotic, so I think those guys might accept that. That's pretty you know, funny. I just think we should put Hillary's face on there. Mueller, that the left built up as God, as he was going to destroy Trump. Now he's just, he's gone, because they're all nobodies. Their whole investigation was a fraud. It was run by globalists. It was all based on lies, and it just shows how pathetic they are, my friend. And a couple more T-shirts that you might think about doing. Uh, you guys can write this down. Um, 